Oh shit. I hear double. Oh shit. Where is I my hear okay. <laughs> This time around I have a laptop with me. <laughs> so now I actually see the chat. <laughs> so what's going on? There's too much releasing. <laughs> this month was so crazy in terms of releases. When did Resident Evil release? It was like last week or two weeks ago. I'm not even sure. I didn't even touch it since the overview. We had so many other like big games releasing before. And I'm not even sure if, uh, if I want more games from today's keynote because then it's prolonging all the playthroughs that I have to do. You had said, well, I mean, we know already that Quest Pro is releasing. I mean releasing. We're gonna have an announcement now. This one I think will release like next year. So it's not gonna be today. What I want to hear is news about Assassin's Creed because it's coming. I mean alongside Assassin's Creed is Splinter, Splinter Cell. I wonder what happened with after the fall. I'm trying to remember what was announced. Basically most of the things released before Connect today. Like this was so weird. I, not, I did not expect Resident Evil to release before Connect. For some reason there is a tendency that everything is releasing at the same time. Like I don't know what's the trend. That way I'm tired. <laughs> this month I don't think I've slept every Thursday. And then just go straight to work. <laughs> so I don't want anything releasing. I mean, I want, but I don't want <laughs> at the same time. I promised the Resident Evil playthrough. For some reason, I have a hard time to go back into it. Certain VR mechanics, I think especially like the cutscenes in combat and stuff like that, throw me off because then going from black screen to like straight up in action, I have to find like in a second to get back into it and just like remember when I, when I was. There's like a significant difference when you're playing a VR game from the ground up and apart. But I am doing the playthrough. Actually, <laughs> I don't want Quest 2 to get any more updates. For some reason, there's a trend. Whenever they introduce a new feature, they destroy 10 other ones. And as long as I'm running this company, I will do my best to celebrate this spirit and absolutely go for it. <laughs> okay. He had the makeup on this time around because he was so pale <laughs> last year. <laughs> This seems like a new Oculus Rance. Alright, perfect. <laughs> oh hey Mark. Hey, what's going on? Yes. Hi, uh -huh. what's up, I think that's it. You'll see their facial expressions, you'll see their body language, Ooh. maybe figure out if they're actually holding a winning Ooh. hand. Privacy and safety need to be built into the metaverse from day one. <laughs> I mean when I experienced Horizon game, already, and it's not private at all. Horizon home is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in uh -huh. the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it home until now because it's been missing something very important. People. Soon, Here we we're going to be introducing a social version of home, where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. Okay. You'll be what about customization? Out, videos together, and jump into apps together. Yeah. You're here! <laughs> Okay, that's a stretch. <laughs> Start an hologram at the real concert. Mm. Check this out. Charity auction happening. Oh, there's swag. And oh. When you go to the after party. You could connect with other fans. Yes, 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 yes. That direction. Your... Oh, that was a close one. You want to go again? Maybe later. I'm gonna need a lot more sunscreen now. Huh? Oh man. Do you want to take us through some of the exciting games in the pipeline for Quest? Oh. Absolutely. That's awesome. If you enjoy that, Mark, I think you'll be excited. Acting. Okay, well, that's a new saber, <laughs> obviously. Okay, wait custom sabers. Okay, well, no, for some reason, I expect way more Sorry. from them. This is a title from I don't know why. I feel like they're just the repeating the same content with new weapons and stuff. I mean, I guess this battle royale, right. so Blade what can you change? Nomad. The build for VR medieval fantasy sandbox uh -oh. that pairs magic uh -oh. with melee is launching on Quest later this year. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Hold your wallets. Blend sorcery coming. <laughs> I wonder with full functionality though. Okay, well, that's gonna be huge. I never played it, but I already know. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, this is one of the all time greats, and we've been working for years to bring it to Quest. Oh. I'm excited to uh, announce that the two Rockstar years. Games classic Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is in development for Quest. Oh my god! This new version of Even Rockstar San Andreas, my favorite GTA. GTA. <laughs> That's it, Mark. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, a CJ just going into this San Andreas. Oh. Games out there take advantage of how you can move around physically. I All love San Andreas. That's my childhood GTA. System seller. Maybe even bigger than Resident Evil. The GTA has crazy fan base. Some budget they 
hard to get from Zuckerberg because they make one game every 10 years or something like that. But I love that they chose from all the old school versions San Andreas. The San Andreas is really good. Eh? But they are going for those ports. I wonder if it's gonna be like the same style of port, but I feel like no. Because you can play Sandra's in first person, that might be way better port than Resident Evil. They're trying a lot of AR stuff, I don't even have glasses for it, but I'm so ignorant, close in my little world, that I have no idea about currency, NFTs, nothing. I think I have to Google the definition. Oh yeah, I'm so interested that you love pastels. Oh my god, I, I hate this um, word. Let's start conversation. Let's end the conversation. We're only available to your your most ardent fans who paid a special access to get to that product. That's dope. Commerce is going to be a big part because I'm getting money. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> what is this? Hey, Buzz. I'm still kind of jealous of your robot avatar. Yeah, man, you gotta have the robot when you're working your dance moves, right? I mean, of course. <laughs> Crunch. Oh my god, he looks exhausted. So developers will be able to ship their mixed reality apps on the Oculus Store and an App Lab. Now, of course, access to pass through by itself mixed is not reality enough, apps. Which I think it's better to show you. <laughs> Load the world beyond. <laughs> this is Oppie. Oppie, come. Come on, Oppie. Who is a good persistent state virtual object layered on an mm. interactive pass through? You know, Buzz, I always really wanted a forest in my living room. Did you? Not really. <laughs> Yo, is this fun? I mean, I don't get uh, the whole filters and stuff like that. I guess I'm too old. 26, but too old. Hey, Angela. Hey, Mark. Is that what I think it is? I sure hope it is. All right, come on in. Secret stuff. <laughs> What the hell is the suitcase? <laughs> but next year, we are releasing a new product that will push the boundaries of VR even further. Okay, Quest Pro. We co-named it Project Cambria. So, this isn't the next Quest. What? It's going to be compatible with Quest, but Cambria will be a completely new, advanced, and high-end product, and it'll be at the higher end of the price spectrum, too. There's a ton of new tech going into Cambria. For example, your avatar will be able to make natural eye contact and reflect your facial Cambria. expressions in real time. This way, people you're interacting with will have a okay, face real tracking. Sense. We also have to make sure avatars represent a diverse set of human facial features and skin tones, as well as paying attention to things like um, mm. glasses and beards that might get in the way of some of the sensors. It's not that diverse so in emotions, but be a big step better than nothing. For Imagine working at your virtual desk with multiple screens while seeing your real desk so clearly that you can pick up a pen and write notes without taking your headset off. Or, you know, you're doing a workout with a virtual instructor in your living room. It's going to be so cool. We're already seeing the potentials of these oh, kind like of experiences. We'll be taking this to the next level with high resolution, colored, mixed reality pass-through. We're starting to work with developers to build experiences for Cambria as we speak. And we're looking forward to sharing so much more with y'all next year. Sounds good. Okay. Last month, we launched Ray-Ban Stories. Yeah, I was looking into it, and uh, I don't like uh, stories. It's not uh, revolutionary enough for me to buy it. I only think that it's good for like vacation time. Today, I want to show you an experience that we've been working on for Project Nazare, which is Nazare. the code name for our first full augmented reality okay. classes. Okay. Here, you'll see you're chatting with friends on WhatsApp and planning a game night. You can select a game, and then, as you walk over to your kitchen, you can easily just put your game onto the table and you're off. And that's the kind of experience that augmented reality will unlock. But what There's about those avatars? Like, what's the tracking of it? It is time for us to adopt a new company brand to encompass everything that we do. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Our mission is the same. <laughs> this is gonna be a meme. From now on, we're going to be metaverse first, not Facebook first. That means that over time, you won't need to use Facebook to use our other services. But it's still the same. Still it's just hiding meta behind the name to so have Meta Connect 2022. <laughs> That's the end. What the hell? That was so short, but not even concrete at all. I mean, they said it was gonna be like a visionary live stream, but okay. That was like almost nothing. Literally, we, we had so many leaks uh, on Reddit uh, about uh, the functionality. The GTA reveal was crazy to me. Oh yeah.
this map. Oh my god. <laughs> Mostly the quest pro was all about the tracking. Full body tracking, everything pretty much included. And that's gonna be like mostly used for the social things, not really like games. To some extent, yeah, but it's more for like business and social. I'm kinda speechless. We got Blade and Sorcery, GTA. They released most of the things before Connect, so they didn't have much <laughs> to reveal now. They should ship to me Cambria. I mean, um, I think with my YouTube career nowadays, not many people uh, are a fan of me if you're talking about the actual YouTubers and stuff like that. And that's mostly because I'm no one's dog. I'm not no one's puppet. Like, uh, that's just my character. Facebook like to have their um, own people. I feel like I represent uh, a very old school side of YouTube that it's all about being independent and uh, very much to myself. Like I'm not uh, someone that uh, has their opinions swayed by some other things. Like I actually don't watch anyone. <laughs> I'm like very much in my own world. And that kind of like uh, gives me a unique view. A lot of people repeat stuff from other people. A lot of uh, content that I've seen before. Not very interesting, but in a way that uh, there's not much personality. That's not YouTube to me. I grew up with this platform, watching like PewDiePie, Jenna Marbles and stuff like that. An echo chamber, essentially. I think that's uh, also why I'm not a fan of VR content, because a lot of YouTubers do VR news and stuff like that. But that's repeating stuff that we already read and making money of it. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's uh, smart. Not much budget is going into it. Whatever, like I have my own thing going on and I'm happy about that. That, back to my original point, I don't think a Facebook is gonna send me anything. <laughs> it's just nice to catch up with my community, as always. I'm just uh, doing my thing here, and let's just go with it. Yeah, see you around.